My name is Ståle Hegna, brilliantly pronounced by the chairman. That's not often in an English-speaking country that you have your name uh, pronounced correctly when you come from Norway. I'm a content designer in Telemark Kompetanse, and uh, we are a small company in Norway. We are working with, um, have been working with Moodle since uh, 10 years ago. We are working with large um, organizations like the municipalities in Norway. They have a separate platform, Moodle platform, with uh, close to half a million users right now. And we are also working in other areas. I'm going to, uh, to talk to you about um, H5P. And as you are well aware of, the, the H5P is a family of content types with different functionalities that um, increase the learning, that uh, helps us to make interactive lessons. And a couple of these, um, you can actually put in more content types into this single content type. So I will show you a couple of examples with a column content type and also with a course presentation content type. And if you have time, and I hope we have, I can also show you a small example of a personality quiz. That's not often, uh, at least we, not often we used, but uh, we, I think we have found a, a nice way to do it. So these are the three examples that I will show to you that we have made for the first one for the municipalities in Norway. They wanted a self-assessment of uh, basic digital competence. They wanted the employees in the municipalities to go through some tests and to see where are my gap in this area. And then we used the column type, the content type, together with course presentation and accordion. We were also asked to make a, a campaign for Startkraft, which, which is the Norwegian energy company, um, one of the largest in Europe for renewable en energy. This is not a course, but it's a, it's a campaign to have focus on a specific area, HSE, health, safety, and environment. And then last, I also included a personality quiz, if you have time to do that. So, let's go live. And I want to show it to you in the actual Moodle Workplace platform that we are using. So first, the self-assessment for basic digi digital competence. And what Okay. Um. Let me see. Stop the presentation, yes. Like this. Here we are. Sorry for that. The first is the self-assessment, the basic digital competency. So what we did here was to, to take this broad area, basic digital competence, and we divided it into different subjects. And we created course presentations, including only questions, different question types. So here we have the net search, um, and this is all in a column, as you see. This was the net search, here is user login, here is security, communication, and so on and so forth. So if we take the first one, <clears throat> the users would go in and answer the questions. And when they continue to do this, they end up on the summary page, and they can easily see what are my score. And if this was the case for me, I'm definitely not good enough in, in net search. So I, had to, I have to do something. So <clears throat> the user would typically then go through all of these uh, course presentations or tests, and they would be directed to the recommended net courses. And the way we did this is that <clears throat> we made an accordion. And in my case here, Maybe I did fine in user login, in the security, communication, and so on. But in net search, I'm weak. So then I go to net search, and I direct, I'm directed to a, a course. And this course can either be an internal Moodle course, or it could be out on the internet. 
to wherever it, there is a good free, usually, course in, uh, in uh, net searching. So this was the first example. This is a column where we have combined this with course presentations, with questions, different question types, and uh, an accordion that link to the different courses. The next is the HSE campaign. And this was made for uh, Statkraft, which is the leading company, Norwegian's yeah. own company for energy. And they had already, when they wanted to launch this campaign, this is, this is not a course. Again, this is a campaign. It's information. They want to have focus on health, safety, and environment. And they had created a word that they would use, which you see here. This is also a Norwegian lesson, by the way. Crash course in Norwegian. This word is raus. And this is the a word for generous in, in English. This means generous actually extra generous. So it's a positive word, and it's, uh, <clears throat> it uh, gives um, good vibes. So this is introduction. And as you can see here also, we have removed the navigation bar. So this is the active surface mode. So we direct them to where they should go using this, uh, this blue arrow. So here we explain what are the meaning of these uh, characters. R is risk conscious, A is ansvarli in Norwegian, responsible in English, U, we don't know yet, S is synli in Norwegian, visible in English. So risk conscious, responsible, visible, they are all factors uh, related to health, safety, and, and um, environment. And the reason for doing this is that this company, they would like focus on the you. What is you? And how does this, what, what does this have to do with, with HSE? So we proceed. And here we are introduced to the letters. And we want to explain, or we want the, reader, uh, the users to um, connect these words to HSE. So now we are starting to involve the learners, right? So if we click on the R, we get uh, exported text area, which is a, a functionality in the course presentation. And they can, they can write whatever they think is connected to this word in a HSE perspective. So when they do this, they engage themselves. What do you mean by risk conscious when it comes to health, safety, and environment? Then they go back. And if they now are very curious, they click on the U but nothing happens. And if I click on the I for information, they are told to wait. You are not supposed to know this right now. This is something that is coming. So when they continue with the A and the S, they write what they think is, uh, is uh, connected to, to visible in this regard. We introduce them to the company, sort of company policy for what do they mean with risk conscious, with responsible, and with vis visible. So they turned it, these are dialogue cards, also a part of, uh, of um, course presentation. And they turn this and they read, this is the company's thinking of these different um, words. The next is that they are introduced to two avatars or to, to uh, fixtures employees in this company. And the first name is let's do it, and the other is think first. And this is a, everyone that's worked with HSE understands that this is really one of the main thing. Just don't do it, but think first. What are we supposed to do? What are the risks involved here? How can we plan to do this in a safe way? So we introduce these two avatars, and then we introduce cases. OK, let's, let's take this into practice. What is working in heights? What are the risks? What are the safety issues when working in heights? How can we minimize the risk for, for accidents? And then the, the user should, in these, um, in these um, exportable text areas, they should again say, how would a um, person that is uh, just going to do the work, how would he think? How would a think first person think? 
so they involve themselves in the process. Case two, hire of external workers. What do they have to think about? Number three, ground faults. So here they should involve themselves in, uh, in the teaching process or learning process. And now we come to the U. So what is U in this context? What does the U stands for? And then we found uh, four words which starts with a U in Norwegian. This is wandering, this is unusual, this is incredible, and this is impossible. So then they have to decide, what do you think the U means? And of course, probably they choose wandering, which is right. And then we go further to learn what wandering is all about, and then they are asked to do, how can, to do this in their own department? How can we be risk conscious? How can we be responsible? How can we be wandering? How can we be visible in our department? What do you have to do? And then we conclude this, uh, this campaign with five, no, six different employees, real employees in this company, and they explain what they think is wandering in this sense. So this was a way to, to engage the learners. We take a quick look at the last one too. I can see the time is running out, but we do this also. This is for Skogskolen, which is a, a school for forest owners. They have a platform for forest owners. And they wanted to have a course. And, one, and part of this course was to, to, for them, the owner of the forest, to find out why do we own a forest? What do we want to do with our forest? Is it for income? Is it for biodiversity and environment? Is it for use in, uh, in a recreational um, perspective? And then we created um, personality quiz. Sorry. And when we start this, they, we divided this into these areas. So we asked the question, what is most important for you? Is it that the forest should be taken good care of? It's a producer of timber? or it's public access to the forest. And dependent on what you, what you click here then, what is most important for you. Now I take the biological diversity and environmental perspective, and I click on these, and then you end up with, you are a forest owner with focus on environment and diversity. If you had chosen all the, that has, was related to income, then they would find, oh, you are most focused on income, right? So that's instead of asking just questions, what, are you, what do you think is most important? And this is better because they, they get involved in, in, the, in this way of thinking and we get a better result. So this was uh, three examples of what you can do using H5P to, to engage your learners and to motivate them to take these courses. Thank you. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, we'll have the next uh, presenters begin to set up. I will uh, allow a question. Thank you. Could you, um, I think you showed it at the first slide, but could you tell us what you used? Obviously, you used course presentation for the second one, uh, but what are the two other features you used on the first one and the, and the third one? Yeah. The column was uh, with uh, course presentation and accordion, right? Which one? The, so the, the, the first? The, the column, yeah. Okay, yeah, it was a column. column. Okay, okay. It was yes. column, and then it was accordion? And, and then it was accordion in, in, the, in the column. The one where you were just asking right? questions and, yeah. and, and, okay. And, and the third one? The third one was personality quiz. Ah, personality quiz. Personality quiz. quiz. Right, great, thank you. Yeah. And the second one was course presentation in, in active surface mode, right? 